The other thing that uh, I'll give you a bit of a look at, um, those people that aren't familiar with it, there's not a lot of, lot of guys that uh, are out there and um, showing this stuff, but some of your best cuts is the back strap, um, and that's your spine running along here. You can see the spine just here. For those people that don't want to see uh, meat getting cut up out in the field, this free range meat, don't watch any further because I'm going to cut these back straps out or give you a bit of a look at how you do it. Okay, so the spine's quite easily uh, definable, and your back strap sits basically in this cut along here. Now be careful, you've got a gut bag underneath here, so you don't want to be going too deep. Take your time, make sure your knife's sharp, and away we go. So anyway, you just find that um, spine along there, get right on it, and what you're actually running along the top of is all of the top vertebrae. And this, you can actually see, this is your back strap here. And this is running up into the shoulder meat up in here. And it doesn't matter if you're having a crack first time, you've got to cut them somewhere. So, as you can see, that's gone right down the spine there, along the vertebrae. And just follow the bones. It's like filleting a fish, in a way. Then you've got this real stringy stuff on top here. Don't stress out too much about that. What we want to do here is make sure you're nice and disconnected. And now you're on top of the ribs, which are running up. into the vertebrae you can hear the knife on the ribs there and believe it or not people might think that this is um, pretty awful to watch or how could you possibly do it but I'm actually showing the most respect I can to the animal that I've harvested out in the field by knowing where to take the meat cut from how to take them and best look after them while I'm out here. And there's nothing wrong, people, with taking this back to camp. And that's your back strap rolling out there. These are the ribs along here. They also make a delicious meal. Just taking your time because the last thing you want to do is go into a bag, into the gut bag. See how they're peeling out of that? And like I said, everyone's an expert, but you know, it's a fairly nice piece of backstrap there. Just leave that out here, don't need that. And at some stage, you're going to have to end that cut. And that's up to you totally, you know. As long as you have done the best that you can to get that meat back to camp, that's right along the hip bone there. And there is an absolutely prime piece of Australian free range wild harvested venison. To learn more, guys, jump over to your local ADA groups. I'm a proud member of the East Gippsland ADA. Um, you'll get to meet a whole lot of people there that are skilled, experienced, and you might be able to go out on a hunt with one of them and uh, learn a little bit more about how to field dress your deer and look after it. But anyway guys, like I said, I'm not an expert. This is how I've learned to do it, um, you know, and this is just an absolutely magnificent piece of meat. That'll do. I'll catch you later. See ya.